programs that we have seen till now there have been a series of statements faithfully executed by python in the top down order the order of execution of statements in a program is also known as flow of control the flow of control can be implemented using control structures python supports two types of control structures selection and repetition by default statements are executed sequentially as i said that is one after the other some problems cannot be solved sequentially a decision involving the selection from multiple options is required so the statements that help us take decisions are called selective or conditional statements in this session let us discuss the use of different forms of decision making statement the if statement the if statement is used to check a condition if the condition is true we run a block of statement so the syntax for this is if some condition colon we give a block of statements okay so this is the syntax you need to note something here if the condition it has to be followed by the colon sign and the block of statements which comes under this if is going to be with an indentation that is some extra space that is provided in the beginning of the statement so even if you press enter you will still find this indentation to get back to the main code we press backspace so this is how we type the if condition let us understand this with the help of an example now i am going to take an integer input from the user let me say enter a number now the condition can be if the number is greater than 0 then let us print this number is a positive number okay i can give another statement outside which will be the statement that will always run so print this statement is always executed now let me run this program it is asking me for a number i am typing 3 it enters the if block checks if number is greater than 0 it is true so it will print 3 is a positive number it comes outside the block and then it prints the statement is always executed now let me run the same program and try to give a number which is a negative number you will find that it is not going to print the statement which is given inside the if block it is only going to print this statement is always executed because this is outside the if block as we have not given the indentation for this now let us understand the second form of if statement which is the if else if condition colon then a block of statements else colon another block of statements i am going to take the same program and modify this to an if else block so i am taking the number as input i am checking if it is greater than 0 then i'll print it as positive number else i am going to print number is a negative number let us run this program i am giving the number 3 it is a positive number now let me run the same program again and give minus 56 so it is printing that minus 56 is a negative number now let us discuss the third type of if statement which is called the nested if statement and to understand that better i am going to take the same program copy it and paste it in the next block 
Now here we are going to make a small change to the program. We are taking the input from the user, storing it in num. So here I am going to change this as if the number is greater than or equal to 0. I am going to include one more statement here. If number is equal to 0, then print the number is 0. Now in the else block, let us give the required indentation. It is a positive number. So if you see, there is an inner if-else statement and there is an outer if-else statement. Remember to put the colon. Don't miss out on the syntax. Else you will be getting a syntax error. So here we have an outer if-else and an inner if-else. So this is nested if. Let us run this. I am giving the number say 0. 0 is 0. Right? If I give a positive number, it's going to print positive. And if I am going to give a negative number, it is going to print a negative number. So this way, we can make use of nested if. The last form of if is used to check multiple conditions. So this is going to take the syntax if condition a set of statements elif that means else if another condition another set of statements now we can have multiple elifs here and at last the final condition which would be else and the body of else so this is the way or this is the syntax of if elif. Let me take the same program and modify this with if elif and else. Okay. So here I am taking the number as input. I am checking if it is greater than 0. Now after this let me include elif. The number is equal to 0, then print number is 0. And the final would be the number is a negative number. So the same program is written in a different way using the if, elif, else. Let us run this program and check. I am giving a negative number which is minus 41. I am going to be giving 0. I am taking a positive value. See? So the same program can be modified using if, elif, else also. Got it? So today we have learned the four forms of if statement. A simple if. If and else, nested if and finally if, elif and else. I hope you have understood this clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.